Free space travelers surround me Hark now to the ballad of Rockin' Robin Hood I may well confound you, astound you, spellbound you With heroes and villains, the bad and the good Watch now as our rockets race here from afar For now with our Robin we live on a star is serene and peaceful at the castle of the wicked Prince John. The guards patrol their posts and do not see even a cat on the prowl. But someone is on the prowl, nevertheless. Is this infernal racket all about? A uh, sneak thief, your highness. He jumped off the wall and killed himself in the rocks below. Get a searchlight down there. There's no one there. But, but that's impossible. I'll have two. No, make that three, Marshal.
Meanwhile, back at the castle of Prince John, things are not so merry. You say the sneak thief jumped? From where? From the parapet above, Your Highness. From up there? Well, that's the Crown Jewels room. Your Highness, what is it? What is it? Uh, nothing much, just a sneak thief, and he got away. Was, was anything lost, sire? Just your head, if the Crown Jewels have been touched. Oh, my. Guards! Guards! To the Crown Jewels room! Come on, come on! Open the door, you ninny! Yes, sire! Yes, sire! Oh, one of these should work! What madness! Any sneak thief can walk right into my castle with no trouble at all, but my own sheriff cannot open a door when he has the key! Shoot the lock off! Shoot it off! Shoot it off! That's what I said, you ninny! Oh, no! Gone! Everything gone! The royal crown, everything! What's... what's this? An arrow, silly. Can't you see that? Oh. An arrow. Rocket Robin Hood. He's our sneak thief. That's what I say. Rocket Robin Hood. There's your man. Arrest him immediately. Bring him to me. Oh, Your Highness, that's much easier said than done. Capturing Rocket Robin Hood is like trying to capture the sun or the moon. It's very difficult, sire, if not impossible. Do you think you're up to arresting a mere girl? <laughs> oh, yes, sire. We can do that all right. Then arrest Maid Marion and bring her to me. She will be the pawn in this little game. You heard what His Highness said. Arrest Maid Marion. I was just about to suggest that very plan myself, Your Highness. Did Rocket Robin Hood steal the royal jewels? Whether he did or not, he's in for trouble. of outer planetary space is new Sherwood Forest Asteroid. Fantastic headquarters of that swashbuckling cosmic highwayman of the 30th century, Rocket Robin Hood. Yes, here comes the one and only Rocket Robin Hood, gliding through galaxies in his search for star-shattering adventure. The interplanetary villains quiver in their space boots when they hear the merry ring of his laughter and feel the blast of his mighty electro quarterstaff. Rocket Robin Hood, fun-loving astral adventurer in the astonishing years to come. Rocket Robin Hood, the happy outlaw of outer planetary space, is a direct descendant of Robin Hood of old. He's fast, with a joyful laugh, a ready jest, and a quiver full of futuristic arrows Robin robs from the cosmic rich to give to the astral pool. He's fun. He's fantastic. Robin Hood, merriest of the merry men in the astounding year 3000. Someone has stolen Prince John's royal crown jewels. Because an arrow was found at the scene of the crime, Prince John suspects Rocket Robin Hood. In order to force Robin to surrender, he has arrested Maid Marian. Oh, heaven protect me, but I do think I'm rather ill. I must have caught a virus or something. <laughs> or something is right. What did you have to eat? Nothing at all, really. Mere trifles. How many trifles did you have, Friar? 
Oh, just a few bags of pop Pluto corn, a half dozen or so Martian hot dogs, and a few bottles of Misty Moon soda, and a couple of sticks of cosmic cotton candy, and four or five... <laughs> I knew I shouldn't let you out of my sight. Yes, leader here. Leader, this is Loot Player. That's Alan and Dale. Where are you, Loot Player? I'm at home plate, leader. He's back at Sherwood Asteroid. I know, I know. You don't have to explain everything to me like a child. I know the code. What's the message, Loot Player? Trouble, leader. Real trouble. Sunflower has been captured. He means Maid Marian. I know, I know. Captured? Captured by whom? Sunflower has been arrested by Space Monster. Prince John. But why? What has she done? Nothing. The crown jewels have been stolen, and Space Monster means to force the surrender of the thief by holding Sunflower. But why? Well, why would the thief surrender? Space Monster has announced he has evidence it was you, leader. What? Stand by, loot player. Come on, I'm going to Prince John's castle. Surely you just rocket Robin Hood. You're flying right into his trap. It can't be helped. Prince John means what he says. Hello, loot player. Go ahead. Send a rocket ship to pick up Midget and Fat One at the carnival. Roger, out. Can't we find a better code name for me than Fat One? That'll take too long, Robin. Can't Friar Tuck and I just borrow this lovely ship? No, we're in enough trouble already. Before you go, don't you think you should tell us where you hid the jewels? I didn't take the jewels. I don't know anything about them. But why were you gone so long? I told you I was on the Loop the Moon ride. Well, if you say so. <sighs> How am I going to convince Prince John when even my best friends don't believe me? I'll turn on my space communicator so you'll be able to hear what happens to me. If worst comes to worst, have Alan and Dale organize a rescue party. How dare you arrest me? I have done nothing. You will please address me as your highness. Your lowness would be more like it. Such an attitude will do you no good, my dear. You have no reason to arrest me. Anyhow, Rocket Robin Hood will rescue me. Mm, I'm sure he will, my dear. As I see, he has come to forfeit his life for yours. So nice of you to drop in, Rocket Robin Hood. I trust you were thoughtful enough to bring the jewels with you. I know nothing about your silly jewels. Silly? They're worth a king's ransom. All the same, I don't have them. No, no? Well, I have evidence that says otherwise. Well, guard, what do you say? He's the one, all right. He was dressed just like that. He climbed up the wall like a cat. You see, Rocket Robin Hood, I finally have all the evidence I need to put you away forever. The thing is, Your Highness, I don't know how he ever jumped off the wall without killing himself. It must have been over 70 feet. How did you do that? I didn't do it. Does that answer your question? Come now, my dear Robin. Why don't you make it easy on all of us and tell us where you hid the jewels? Uh-oh, look. Close. Do you think he did it? Who? Do you think Robin took the royal jewels? Well, it sounds like Robin. I don't know of any other man who could have done such a daring thing. We've got to get him out of there, little John. Aye, but how? We've got to think. I thought you said you weren't feeling well. You said we've got to think, didn't you? How can I think without food? One last bit of evidence, Rocket Robin Hood. This arrow belongs to you, does it not? Let me see that. Clean up this mess. Have the trial, pass sentence, and be done with it, shall we? 
<laughs> Whether Rocket Robin Hood took the jewels or not, it seems he's about to suffer the wrath of Prince John. member of Rocket Robin Hood's band is Little John, the brawniest spaceman ever to rocket through the cosmos in the fantastic years to come. This Goliath of the galaxies has the might of a cosmic Hercules, the brute force of an unleashed meteor, combined with a truly super weapon, the Electro Quarterstaff. Little John, whose great strength is tempered with a simple, good-hearted kindness toward all living things. Mightiest of Rocket Robin Hood's merry men in the amazing years to come, Little John. When the problems of Rocket Robin Hood call for heavy thinking, then it's time for the one and only Friar Tuck to come to the rescue. Some, like the wicked sheriff of Knott, think him fat, foolish, and not worth worrying about. But don't you believe it. Friar Tuck, whose courage is as tremendous as his appetite, is just one of the astounding space characters in the merry band of Rocket Robin Hood in the fantastic years to come. Robin Hood has been accused by Prince John of entering the Crown Jewels room and stealing the royal treasure. With Maid Marian being held as hostage, Robin has come to plead his innocence. But the evidence is all against him, and no help is in sight. I have never presided over a trial with a more happy anticipation. I have looked forward to this day for a long, long time. The prisoner will take the stand. How does the prisoner plead? Not guilty. How amusing. Step down. I will now call the first witness for the prosecution. Now, my good fellow, will you tell the court in your own words what happened last night? Uh, yes, sire. I was walking my post as usual when all of a sudden I noticed those guards are gone. I guess it's safe to come out now. As safe as it's ever going to be, I suppose. I'm fit to be tied. Our rocket ship won't get here for another half hour and Robin up to his neck in trouble. Come along. Maybe we can spot somebody we can trust enough to take us out of here. Now you're thinking? It's on the inside, friends, the greatest little show in the universe. Just back from a triumphal tour of the planets. You'll see Jojo, the dog face boy. You'll see terrained monsters from the planet Lucifer performing tricks that will amaze and mystify you. You'll see Marvello, the star of our show, and the greatest aerial artist of all time. Let's get away from that Venusian chatterbox and see what we can pick up from Rocket Robin on the communicator. And then what happened, guard? Well, sire, after stealing the crown jewels, this man runs over to the edge of the wall and jumps off into thin air. You are referring to Rocket Robin Hood, aren't you? Uh, y yes, sire, I suppose. But, but I don't see how he can still be alive. That wall is 70 feet high. Uh-oh, here they come again. <laughs> We'll be safe in here until our rocket ship arrives. Yeah, 
Besides, I love a circus. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we take great pleasure in presenting the star of our show. I mean, none other than the great Marvel. Good shot. Well done. Not too bad. I could do that, if I practiced. You'd break your fool neck and you know it. Oh, he's not so great. Rocket Robin Hood wouldn't have missed. Quiet. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I must ask for complete silence as Marvello attempts one of the most dangerous feats ever presented under any big top anywhere in the universe. He will jump from the high wire to the floor of the arena, a distance of 85 feet without the aid of a net. Jolly good! Jolly good indeed! I'll just bet he's the only one in the world who can make a jump like that. That was something, huh? The Jewel Thief! Back at Prince John's court, Rocket Robin Hood's trial is coming to a close. I see no reason to go on with this trial. It is abundantly clear that Rocket Robin Hood is a thief. I shall be very generous, my dear fellow, and sentence you merely to life imprisonment if, and I say, if you tell me where you have hidden the royal crown and the jewels. We have a little proposition for you, Prince John. Return Robin and Maid Marian to us safely, and we will send a message later telling you where you can pick up your precious trinkets. The great Marvello, who happens to be the real jewel thief, you may have for nothing. enemy of Rocket Robin Hood is the cruel space tyrant Prince John, despot ruler of the National Outer Space Terrestrial Territories. With the help of the wicked Sheriff of Knott, the Black Prince plans for that terrible day when he will destroy and conquer the entire solar system. Well, he might, if it were not for Rocket Robin Hood. Rocket Robin Hood, outlaw defender of right in the astounding years to come.
Here's the place to be on the side of the free with rocket.